No other region on the planet desalinates as much seawater as the Middle East. In Oman, desalination plants on the shore of the Arabian Sea supply about 86% of the potable water. The country's largest desalination plant went online last year. It's powered by natural gas and at full capacity can churn out 74 million gallons of drinking water in a day. Oman relies on desalination because the extreme scarcity of water leaves few other options for the growing population. The country has a total of nine large desalination plants. The technology is expensive and energy intensive, and the government subsidizes water rates to keep prices low. Other countries across the Arabian Peninsula are similarly dependent on government-subsidized desalination plants. And the desal business is growing, not only in the Middle East, but in water-stressed regions around the world, from Israel to California. For regions where freshwater supplies are under growing strains and threatened by climate change, desalination plants are becoming a go-to technological fix. But while these new plants bring a reliable water supply, they also come with high costs, both in money and energy. The process also involves discharging salty brine back into the sea. This has prompted concerns about how that hypersalty water may affect the surrounding marine environment. As water suppliers in the desert southwest and other parts of the world consider whether to invest in desalinating seawater, these decisions will involve weighing other alternatives and carefully considering the high costs.